A growing jail population is creating challenges for the Madison County Sheriff's Office. That's where we start tonight. I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Chase Gallimore. Thank you for joining us. Sheriff Blake Dorning says caring for these inmates is a top priority, but the budget they're currently operating on wasn't prepared for the high number of inmates they now have. Our Mary Stackhouse takes a closer look at why the sheriff is asking the county commission to increase his budget. Sheriff Blake Dorning is requesting an additional $3.8 million in funding, a large portion of which would go toward the care and housing of the inmates, which he says is absolutely necessary as the jail population rises. This time last year, there were 903 inmates in the Madison County Jail. Now, there are 1,065 inmates. What we've seen is that our numbers on a daily average have increased, and we feel that our daily average uh, numbers for the county jail is going to be well over a hundred inmates per day for this 2018 17 18 budget cycle it's something he says they were not prepared for it's catching up to the operation of the jail which he says operates lean compared to facilities of similar size it is our job to apprehend them and incarcerate them as humanely as possible. Many of the inmates, he says, come in sick and need to be detoxed. Some are more uh, run a greater risk than others, and they have to be sent outside for additional treatment. The additional funding would also go to housing and feeding of the rising numbers of inmates. And everybody says we're growing. We're going to be, you know, one of the largest cities in the southeast before we know it. He says they're already feeling the impact. Here's another cost that's adding up. It costs about 50 to $56 a day to keep someone in the jail who's awaiting their court date. And currently there are 740 unsentenced inmates in the jail. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News.